want to talk about the truth on cellulite. talk about something that is so so like it's just everywhere media your family your friends like this word cellulite cellulite so what is cellulite it's a coneous fat that is in an area and causes dimpling in the thighs and buttocks mostly um, it can be in other areas but mostly that's where you will find it um, so it's a whole bunch of fat just like together and that gives you that dimpling effect. Um, that's what cellulite is. It's like a short version of it. Now, what causes cellulite? A lot of people think that cellulite is caused, you know, if you have a horrible, unhealthy lifestyle. This could be true, but there's a lot more factors than that. Um, genetics plays a huge role in cellulite. So even if you are the healthiest person, you will still have cellulite because it's in your genetics. Hence, I will show you a picture here. I have cellulite. Yes, I, Monica Paez Rodriguez, fully admit that I have cellulite. Try to cover it sometimes? Yeah. Am I happy that I have it? No. But I've come to realize that it's something that a lot of women have um, because it's kind of the way that we in society see things is if you have cellulite, you're unhealthy, you don't tr like take care of yourself, and in the bodybuilding world, you're not training hard enough. Um, so it's something that you don't really want to have. Um, but unfortunately, it can just be genetics. So why the dimples? that we get in our thighs and buttock area. It's because the tissue loses elasticity. That's basically it. So then, what can you do to help it? I can tell you one thing. A cream will not help it. Why? Because it's something underneath your skin. It's your tissue that has lost elast elasticity and that's why creams aren't gonna help. But now, you know what will help? Is you gotta increase the blood flow by getting muscles in that area. It's not gonna take it away completely, not at all, but it will improve the, um, getting muscles in that area will get the blood flowing and will also tighten the skin, making the appearance a little smoother. So that's basically what you can do. There's nothing around it you gotta get muscles in the booty and in the thigh area which is why i think when i was bodybuilding you can t like it's not it wasn't as noticeable my cellulite i still had it <clears throat> and it was still pretty bad in my opinion um but now with running and i've lost everything it's worse it's a lot worse um, so some of the factors that you can do um for cellulite is live a healthy lifestyle Stay hydrated, increase muscle mass, and definitely creams won't help. However, if you do all that and you're still super uncomfortable with it, um, there are certain cosmetic procedures that you can do. Um, I like there's, I think some lasers or um, I don't even know. Cool sculpting is it? I think it's cool sculpting. Um, I've tried some. I've tried mesotherapy, which is injecting liquid into it. Didn't do anything. Um, I've tried endermology. And that, I tried it when I went to Miss Florida. That helped a lot, actually. But the second time around, didn't do crap. So, I don't know. It's kind of, I'm iffy on that. Um, I wouldn't do lipo just because you take out fat from one area but then it'll like come out in another so that's not good um so yeah those are kind of i'm sorry that it's i can't tell you like drink this magic pill and it's gonna help you because it really isn't it's just 
living a healthy lifestyle and get some muscle in there. Um, but I mean, I know that it's hard because I can't just come here and tell you guys, yeah, forget about it, you got cellulite, it doesn't matter. That's not true because I have days where I don't care and I have other days where I'm a little bit more self-conscious about it. Um, but I guess we have to realize, myself included, that it doesn't define us. It doesn't, you know, make us or break us. It doesn't really, you know, say how hard we work. It doesn't say the type of person that we are. So don't let it define you. Don't let other people's criticisms and insecurities, because yes, when people are insecure, they talk about you to make themselves feel better. So that's basically, if they're making fun of your cellulite, they probably got cellulite worse than y'all. Um, so don't let it define you. You know, I know it's really uncomfortable and there's ups and downs and we live in a society where we have to be perfect, especially in this bodybuilding world. Um, but I think just be you. Be happy with who you are. Be happy. There's people out there that love you for who you are and those that don't, you don't need them in your life. Uh, so that's all for today. If you guys like these informative uh, videos, please let me know. And please let me know if you want more of these type of informative videos. We can talk about different topics. Just comment below. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. So give it a thumbs up maybe. Alrighty you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next vlogmas.